Hello friends, uh, myself Mehul Kodia from IG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we discussed some numerical based on geometric transformation. So in today's session we have to learn one more method like uh, a reflection about line y is equal to mx plus c. Clear? In, uh, in this uh, chapter we saw lots of numerical based on uh, rotate any of the object from any of, any of the particular points or scale any of the object. Clear. So in today's session we have to uh, learn the method how to find reflection of any of the object about any particular line. We already uh, discussed and uh, derive equation of uh, reflection about x axis, how to find reflection about y axis. Clear. So in today's session we have to learn how to find reflection about line y is equal to mx plus c. Okay. Now you all know in the, uh, the equation of straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. In that equation m indicates slope of the line and c indicates the constant. Clear value of the constant. Okay. So in, the, in this lecture we have to also derive the equation how to find reflection about y is equal to mx plus c line. So that is the total we have to do total 6 process for find out the uh, reflection about line y is equal to mx plus c. Equation of line y is equal to mx plus c where slope m clear and uh, intercept value is equal to c. We can relate slope m to angle theta by equation. Now you all know a uh, slope of the any of the line indicated by tan theta because tan theta is equal to delta y upon delta x. Okay. So slope of the line indicate that is theta. So you can compare m is equal to tan theta. And from that, if you want to find value of theta at that time, you have to use equation theta is equal to 10 inverse m. Clear? So, uh, you will get the value of theta and that will indicate the slope of the line with uh, according to the uh, x-axis. Okay. The theta is inclination of line with respect to x-axis. Okay. So, uh, you have to understand this value. One more thing. In equation of line y is equal to mx plus c value of c indicate it is the value between intersection point of line on the y axis to the origin again i explain in in any of the equation of line suppose y is equal to 3x plus 4 at that time value of c is equal to 4 that value c value is equal to oh, 4 is indicate it is the distance between intersection point on line on the y axis to the origin it is the distance between that okay so you have to understand this thing now for the find out reflection of any of the line about y is equal to mx plus c you have to understand these two figure the first figure is original shape now we have one equation of line that is y is equal to mx plus c and we have one object that is rectangle now we have to find reflection of rectangle about that particular line okay so reflection now from the figure uh, we can easily understand that reflection of that rectangle is we uh, getting in the first quadrant and above the line okay because uh, the object rectangle is now placed below the uh, straight line so if you find reflection at that time that reflection we will get in above the line so in y is equal to mx plus c line we have one uh, line that is y is equal to mx plus c now in that line the line intersection at point on the y axis so c indicate the intersection point to the origin the distance between intersection point to the origin m indicates slope of the line from the value of m we will get the answer of the theta and uh, uh, now we have no any equation to find out reflection about uh, any particular line from directly because we have equation how to find reflection about x axis so we have one equation how to find reflection about y axis all again we have uh, one equation for that but we have no any equation to find out reflection about line y is equal to mx plus c that's why we have to move this line to the x axis once again i say we have one equation for find out reflection about x axis. Also we have equation how to find reflection about y axis. But we have no any equation to find out reflection about line y is equal to mx plus c. Like y is equal to 3x plus 4 or any of the equation of the line. That's why we have to move this straight line to the x axis. Clear? 
because we have equation how to find reflection about the x axis that's why we have to move that line on the x axis okay so first figure is a original figure now first step that is translation clear translation to origin so first we have to move this straight line to the origin so intersection point uh, uh, intersection point of line on the y axis clear so that point and distance between origin origin to that point that is value is equal to c so you have to move this line to the downward direction on y axis up how much value that is minus c clear so that's uh, so that line move on the origin once again i said first step is a translation because what is the fundamental of translation if you move any of the object from one place to another place it is the process of translation geometric transformation that's why you have to move this straight line in downward direction means we we give translation only in y axis we cannot change the value of the x axis okay so that's why we give just value now you all know what is the equation of translation 100010 tx ty1 tx indicate translation in x axis ty indicate translation in y axis now in that case uh, uh, we uh, don't give any of the translation in x axis that's why value of tx is equal to 0 but what is the value of ty we give translation in downward y axis that's why value of ty is minus c because we give translation up to value of c clear so that line is a move on the origin so a second figure indicate translation to origin so once you move straight line at that time the object also move with the line okay so that first process is translation in translation process you have to move straight line to the origin process okay now third process second process that is rotation okay now uh, straight line first move we have on the x axis okay after that we have the value of theta value of theta you can find out from the value of slope clear m is equal to tan theta so theta is equal to tan inverse m so in that case the third process rotation we have the value of theta so if we give clockwise rotation of line up to the value of theta so that line is move on the, the x axis again i explain you if you give rotation in clockwise direction at value of theta at that time that line move on the x axis based on this figure c clear so in th second process is a clockwise rotation we have to give clockwise rotation of line at that time line come on the x axis okay now why we move this line on the x axis because we have equation how to find reflection about x axis that's why we move that line on the x axis okay now we have to find reflection about x axis in next process so if you find reflection about x axis then that reflection we will get in the above the line okay from the figure d that is the reflection okay now we get the reflection now uh, which process we have to done once uh, we move the straight line on the origin after that we give rotation in clockwise now we have to repeat same procedure in reverse direction clear again we have to give anti clockwise rotation at value of theta and again we have to move that line in the or uh, translate this line to its actual position clear but the fundamental is what we have to move any of the object to its actual position so we have to follow first two process translate this line to origin after that we give clockwise rotation after that we find reflection now we have to give anti clockwise rotation of line at value theta and again we have to give inverse translation to move that line to its actual position so this is the reflection now we have to move we have to rotate this line to anti clockwise okay so this is the uh, now inverse rotation clear inverse rotation in that case we give the rotation of line to anti clockwise direction at value theta so from the rectangle also move with the line and last process that is inverse translation means we have to give uh, in uh, translation means we uh, first we give translation in downward y axis now we have to give translation in upward y axis to move line to its actual position and you will get the final answer okay once again i repeat same procedure if you have any of the equation like y is equal to mx plus 3 at that y is equal to 2x plus 3 
In that case, you have value of m is equal to 2 and value of c is equal to 3. So based on value of m, you can find out how theta, theta is equal to 10 inverse m, you will get answer of the theta. And value of c indicate it is the distance be between intersection point and origin. So you have to give the minus 3 translation in the downward y axis for moving this line to its uh, ori uh, origin. Okay. So total 5 processes, first process is you have to write down coordinates of rectangle as it is. First process, we have to move this straight line to the origin, that is first process, that is translation. After uh, translation, we have to give clockwise rotation at value of theta. Once you give clockwise rotation, at that time line move on the x-axis. After that, you have to find reflection about x-axis. Now again you have to give anti-clockwise rotation of line and again you have to give inverse translation of the line. Okay, so you have to repeat this procedure and you, will, you can get, uh, find out the answer. Translation, clockwise rotation, reflection about line, after that anti-clockwise rotation and inverse translation. So total 5 equation is there. So you are, and you all know how to find uh, what is the equation of clockwise rotation, what is the equation of anti-clockwise rotation what is the equation of translation and inverse translation and what is the equation of reflection about x-axis clear if you have any of the object if you find reflection about x-axis at that time if object in first quadrant then reflection you will get in the fourth quadrant that is the simple thing already we discussed that process and find out equation and solve some numerical based on that okay so this is the procedure p dash means new coordinate of rectangle P means coordinate of original rectangle. Now first process that is T. T means translation. We have to give translation of line to the origin. R indicate clockwise rotation. M indicate mirror about X axis. Clear? Now inverse R means we have to give anti-clockwise rotation and inverse T that means we have to give inverse translation in Okay, so this is the procedure how to find a reflection of any of the object about particular equation of line like y is equal to 3x plus 4 or y is equal to 5x plus 6 any of the equation you have to uh, follow this procedure. Now what is the equation of t? Translation. Now you all know what is the equation of translation 1 0 0 0 1 0 tx dy 1. We have to give translation only in downward y, uh, downward y direction, okay? And we don't give any of the translation in x-axis. So value of tx is equal to zero. What is the value of ty? That is minus c because we give translation in downward direction. That's why we have to use minus sign. And how much translation we have to give in uh, minus y direction? That is value c. So translation equation 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 minus c 1 that is the equation of translation. Now what is the equation of clockwise rotation that is cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1. You have to just place value of theta over here and you will get answer of the rotation. Okay so first equation is translation 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 minus c 1. Clear? Second, rotation cos theta minus sin theta 0, sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1 based on this uh, slide. Okay. What is the reflection or uh, reflection matrix about x axis? Okay. So you all know uh, if you find reflection about x axis at that time value of x coordinate is same, but value of y coordinate just a change means just sign change. If you have any of the point like phi comma phi in first quadrant. If you find reflection about uh, x-axis at that time coordinate converted into phi comma minus phi. Clear? Because first quarter reflection we will get in fourth quarter. So in first quarter x and y coordinate both positive but in y coordinate x coordinate plus but y coordinate is minus. That thing you all know. That's why equation of reflection about x-axis that is 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 1. Okay. So first translation then clockwise rotation, reflection about x-axis. Now we have to follow reverse procedure, anti-clockwise rotation and inverse translation. Okay. So that is the equation of inverse transformation matrix. That is cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1. That is the equation of the anti-clockwise rotation. 
and last inverse translation now here uh, i write down the matrix in the transpose form so you have to convert it all the row in all column so this equation of uh, inverse translation converted like this 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 plus c 1 okay so we, ha we have to use this equation uh, in the uh, uh, transpose form okay so final transformation matrix can be of as RT transformation matrix is equal to translation rotation mirror image inverse rotation inverse translation you have to repeat this five procedure translation rotation mirror about x axis anti clockwise rotation inverse translation so you have to just uh, 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 fit this sequence in your mind to solve any of the numerical and uh, from the equation and you all know how to multiply two matrix so you have to follow this procedure to find out how to find out reflection of any of the object about particular equation of light y is equal to mx plus okay so in next session we have to solve a numerical based on this process okay